Alright, hi guys. I did like a, <clears throat> excuse me, a video remix for you guys and like, I don't know how, but some of it got like, like almost three quarters of it got like completely cut off of the video. I don't know how that happened. So I lost quite a bit of footage that I cannot film again, but it wasn't like, it was like a couple of challenges, but that's okay. I, I can always do that again, but it won't be for a while. So, this black guy, well today in this video I'm going to show you how to make a scar, and I had one like right there when I made it, and it's, they're super, super easy. And then for my black eye, I made this, I'm going to just keep it on so you guys have, have a bit of an idea of how to make it. <clears throat> for black eyes and bruises, it's just like a matter of mixing colors together and just getting the right balance. So they are super, super easy, and, oh, you didn't see my little poster. Yeah, so they are super easy, but I'm going to show you how to make a scar today. You can still kind of see it. And they are the easiest things in the world to make, and I'm going to show you how. So, yeah. All right, so what you're going to need is, by the way, that's my makeup remover. All right, there. Uh, what you're going to need is, since I have like a million red pens and I can't find a single one that works, I'm just using a thin tip Sharpie, looks like that. Thick sharp, thick red sharpie, and a makeup brush and some glue. Mine is the Elf Professional eyeshadow brush because it's like my favorite brush in the world. There we go. Wait, there we go. Okay, so what you're gonna do first is you're gonna take your pen or your thin tip sharpie in my case. And okay, hold on, this is really funny. Thing. There we go. And you're just going to draw the shape of your scar however you want it. Try and make it like really super rugged so it looks like as realistic as possible. So, yeah. So there's mine. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take your eyeshadow brush and your palette. And mine is the BH120, and I just got that like three days ago, and I'm obsessed with it. So you're just going to take like dark browns, reds, dark purples, maybe a little bit of black, and just like kind of put them all over the line, and just kind of mix them together and balance it out depending on like, it really depends on like how you want your scar to look. So I usually start with dark brown, and then I just kind of play around with it until I get the right colors. I usually leave red till last. I don't know why I'm doing it now, but I don't I guess it doesn't really matter. So just kind of play around with it. Oh, by the way, this was one of the videos that I'd lost and since my mom went out to like a ring toss tournament, she we had a babysitter, and it was my best friend's older sister, because she had to come to tutor me anyways. And math is, math is not my best subject. So, and I have a test on Monday. So, yeah, she just came over for that, and then I did this tutorial on her. I did, like, a scar on her earlier, and then we decided to do a video on it. So I just did the other side of her face. And... That was something that was lost in the video remix. Because, like, I was filming, and then there was, like, this corner in the YouTube capture app, and it, like, meshed them all together, and I had no idea how to get them, like, individually again, so I lost them. I don't know how, like, that happened. It just happened. But, yeah. So the only one that I lost that I can't really do again it was the salt and ice challenge. The only one I would have been really mad about that like didn't upload would be the smoothie challenge that I did with Sarah. She was the babysitter and my tutor. So uh, yeah, I'm really happy that that uploaded. And even though it cut off a little bit on the end, it was just like me saying goodbye and stuff. So it doesn't really matter. And then once you've got like your colors that you want take your no I'm all wrong 
take your glue and then just grab you can either use I saw a video where she used um, like a safety pin or something I guess you could use a safety pin toothpick I'm just gonna use my finger and then like kind of dab it along and maybe make like bumps this this will give it texture to make it look like your skin is like coming up I guess it makes it look a lot more realistic and then you can either use to let this dry a hair dryer on low heat or just wait until it dries I do not have a heat setting on my hair dryer my mom so I'm just gonna have to wait and besides everybody else is sleeping even though it's like 11 o'clock so yeah I will be right back when this is dry all right, so it is dry. Oh, and by the way, I forgot to mention, make sure that your colors that you're using are matte because like a shimmery cut isn't gonna look very realistic. It'll just look silly. So yeah, make sure that they're matte. And once you're, I'm dropping stuff all over the place. I dropped, when I was filming this video before, I dropped the glue too. But anyways, uh, once your glue is dry, you're gonna take your the cut Sharpie and then just like draw along the scar and where there's like big chunks of glue maybe just like dab on them or skip over them even and then once you're done that since it looks like there's a sharpie line there that's where you come back and you go over it again with your eyeshadow and it won't be like as intent well don't like completely redo the process just like do touch up so that it covers up the sharpie line a little bit but it's, it's still visible it just doesn't look like it's a sharpie line so yeah just like go over that again And it's really just playing around with colors, making sure you get the right texture, I guess. And yeah, it's really the eyeshadow that like pulls the whole thing together and then like makes it makes it look like the steps are I don't know, like not using pens and sharpies. <laughs> so yeah. And then next, I'm not sure if I mentioned this. I don't think I did. I'm going to try and do, the next video, I'm going to do a zombie bite. And it's going to be like an arm on your arm. And if you guys have any, know of any, like, special effects makeup that you, that you know where to get or, like, where I can get it at a reasonable price because I'm only, like, well, I'll be 13 in a few months and... I don't really have a job so <laughs> yeah make it at a reasonable price if you know where I can get some and yeah that would be very helpful because then I could do a tutorial for you guys all right so this is basically what you'll end up having something like this or whatever shape you decide to do and yeah so I may or may not do a tutorial on this it's just it's basically just finding the colors, and like I said before, just figuring out which colors go with what, and yeah, whether you want a new bruise, an old bruise, and again, make sure your colors are matte, because, ugh, just make sure they're matte, okay? So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed my first non-beauty video. Well, I did challenges, but, like, this is makeup, but not beauty, I guess. I don't know. Okay, thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe. Bye.